show you how easy it is to change your handwriting into a cut file and cut it out on the Brothers Scan and Cut machine. Now, you probably were thinking, well, I don't like my handwriting. But I just want to tell you that all it takes is some practice. And so what I do is I take just a regular computer paper sheet and I just start writing and I try a few different words and until I get something that I like and I just write it over and over again and then I decide if I'm going to scan it or not and I want to space them out enough so that they are separate. These are actually too close together, they're kind of overlapping. So let's do a uh, hello. And I do them fairly large because I can always make them smaller and you want to be smooth. Now you see this L? The L is a little bit sharp there. So anyways, I could fix that but if I do find one letter that I like, or sorry, one word that I like, I will just go back and make my lines a little bit thicker and try to fix any kinds of jagged edges that I see. Now it's hard to do this on camera because I'm actually facing, or sorry, I'm a fair distance from my paper but at home when you're just when I'm working on this off camera it's uh, much easier so you see how I'm kind of rounding out the edges and making them the same thickness where I and this is kind of jaggedy and then I just kind of go from there I say okay I either like this or I don't like it and if I don't like it then I simply write it again. So let's try the word, a different word, happy. And again, you want to be fluid and smooth and not have any jagged edges. So that one, I don't like the Y. The Y is too long for me. So let's try that again, happy. And your pen, I mean, it can be, um, your pen can be thin or thick. I prefer the thicker Sharpie. And remember, you want a black on white effect. So I would say my best word there is lovely. But I am just going to also write the word hello. Because that's what I used on my layout. So this hello is pretty good. And let's fix it up. I'm going to keep, you want to be careful when you're going over it again. Again, it's just practice. You want to keep the some of the insides of your letters open, like the E, the L, don't make it too small. And the O, it doesn't matter, you can make it closed or not, and this one is looking pretty good. So, there you go. So what I would do next is then I will scan this hello. Okay, I have a new brother scanning mat that I'm excited to use. If you don't have a scanning mat, you can just use your regular sticky mat. So it has this cool transparent layer. I'll put my piece of paper in there and load up my machine. Okay, and I'm going to click scan and scan to cut data. And here we go. So it drags it all the way through. You want to leave room behind your machine so that you can it doesn't hit anything because the mat goes all the way through and back. And remember, I am, it's now recognizing, if you can see it, but I am going to choose this word here. I could actually choose another word and see how it works, but uh, this is the one that 
the hello is going to work out for me the best, I believe. Okay, uh, there it shows up on my screen. So I'm just going to unload my mat and now I will zoom in so you can see what's going on. All right, I've zoomed in and here are my words. So I am going to um, choose the second feature, which is an outline. And I'm going to narrow in on that hello I have. So you can see the value in not writing your, your words so close together like I did. Um, let's see, save. Get it on my machine. I narrowed the bounding boxes. And now, Should have worked so let's go back and see what we have saved in our saved data and there is my hello okay now before you continue before you resize anything you have to go in choose all your bounding boxes so that every little piece of that hello is all separate and you want them together and you're going to unify them by pressing that button so now you can move it around. Now if I had actually tried to move it before, it would not have worked out too well because it would have um, been in pieces. So now I can resize it as large and as small or as small as I like for a layout or a card. And let's cut it out. All right, I've loaded my mat with some pink basil cardstock and I'm gonna click OK, 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 and then cut. There we go, I will unload my mat, lift up, my paper carefully and you will see there we go a couple pieces got stuck and you will see your hello like this that's cut out There you go. That's how easy it is. Thanks for watching.